Hey everybody, Anthony here with the Retro Gamers Podcast. Hopefully this video is coming out okay, but uh, I am coming to you from Singapore at the um, location where I always go shopping for video games. It's called Sim Lim Square, and it's a hub for everything tech here in Singapore. Uh, we're gonna take some video inside to show you all the different um, all the different tech stuff that they have there. Uh, I was originally supposed to be going to New York Comic Con this week, but unfortunately my plans had to change. Uh, and to make up for it, I'm gonna be taking some footage inside Simlim Square, so let's go inside and uh, see what these guys got. So we're talking about six different levels and everything you can get, audio equipment, video equipment, everything computer-wise, PC-wise, video game-wise, tech-wise. It's amazing to see so many stores selling the same things and that they all manage to stay in business. Because we're talking hundreds of stores. And it's kind of like a maze when you walk through this place.
Retro Nuts is right up there. Looks like they moved into a new location actually since the last time I've been here. Because it's right next to Dr. Clotopus. So they've definitely moved. And then in the midst of all this tech stuff, there's one leather store. <laughs> Interesting. Today's actually the day. I've been here like two or three times now and I'm gonna try my hand at Dr. Clotimus. <laughs>
We're gonna keep trying. My niece loves Stitch, so. Oh wow. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've won a claw game in, I don't know, a couple decades. But there's a stitch for my niece. Alright, and just for fun. Let's gonna roll of toilet paper. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> All right, this one looks like you have to grab a bunch of ping pongs. So let's see how many ping pongs we can grab. All right. And that was a big no. All right, let's try that again. I guess it's all going to depend on how they bounce. <laughs> yep, that's a no-go. Alright, let's see what happens for the last one. Alright, so this one is about like grabbing a bunch of metal balls to try and win something. You need at least three balls to win. Let's see what happens with this one. Oh, this is interesting, it's like mousetrap. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I want anything. Oh well. So this is a store I usually go to to pick up some games, usually PC games and stuff like that, but uh, it looks like they're in the middle of moving to a new location, so it's kind of all broken down, but I just wanted to catch some video of it. Um, looks like they're still unpacking. Alright, well that was my shot at Dr. Clodgepus, at least I'm walking out with something. Uh, my niece will be very happy when she sees that she's getting a nice sleepy stitch all the way from Singapore. Um, and that's uh, Dr. Quantipus. And I'm going to turn the camera around for a second and show you guys where I am up here. Just to give you an idea. And I'm still not at the top floor. We're going to go a couple of stores down to check out Retro Nuts again which has a completely different setup now since they've moved locations. Larry, I would buy you that Popeye if I could, but I do know that it's not for sale. <laughs>
upgrade from the last time I was here. Our last stop in here is this video game store that's in the basement, right where the parking structure is. But I always make a quick stop here. It's mostly newer stuff, but sometimes he's got some older stuff that's interesting. It's called G&E Gaming. Oh, I see he's got a whole bunch of Wii stuff out here. So. Hello, how are you? Do you mind that I'm taking video? Okay. I have a podcast back home, so I like to I like to share everything that I see while I'm traveling. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm here in G&E Gaming, and uh, this is the owner of the shop. So this We've this is here in 25 years. 25 years, wow. Yeah, I've been sending a few few names. Yeah, my sideboard. Yeah, after my boss, I worked for 10 over years. Then we mm -hmm. came over. Okay, yeah. very cool. You have a great start. This is my I think is third it? or fourth time here. Is it? Oh, I, that's good. I, yeah, I always stop by when I'm when I'm in town yeah, for work. At first, I start on Game Boy, then PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. Yeah. You now PS5. Yeah. You're a PS5 player. Yeah. Not so much. Uh, not so not much. Really, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, because I've been here every day. No time to play. Also. I was just gonna say you just work it. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> and introduce all the Switch games. Got a lot, a lot, a lot of titles also actually. 
Well, what would uh, if you had to pick a favorite console? What would it be? Uh, like any I console. Will pick PS5. The graphic, of course. The current PS5. Stick, yeah. But if you go all the way back. Mm, all the way back, uh, maybe on PS1. Oh, right, the PS1. Yeah. Has it something like that? You know, has a has a huge library. Yeah, there's. Yeah, it's quite easy for us to play. Now the game is quite difficult. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we're quite slow. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have a website? Um, usually we put on Carousel. Uh, on okay. Carousel, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much. No worry. Thank you very All right. much. All right, so the last star actually wound up being successful. I did grab something that wasn't game-wise. They weren't, like I said, he didn't really have that many retro games, but it was actually great hearing him talk about his store and his his past and everything like that. But I did grab a um, Gilly Kit Seven in One docking station. This will be for my Nintendo Switch and for my um, uh, what's the other thing I'm trying to think of that I can't think of? It's my Steam Deck. So my Steam Deck and my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to bring this home with me. So I call that a success for this trip, even though. I didn't grab any games. So uh, this is Anthony at Simlim Square in um, very hot Singapore. Again, this is Anthony at the Retro Gamers Podcast signing off in Singapore.